ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಣಲಯಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿಣೆ ವ್ಯೋಮವತ್ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಾರಂಭ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾಭವತು ಸಹನೌಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾಪೆದ್ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 So good morning to all of you. <clears throat> so continuing Tattva Bodha, last class or at least till the last class what we did was we completed a major portion of Tattva Bodha which was on the Jeeva. on the individual so we use the word jiva for the individual in in vedanta when we start analyzing the self then the word jiva enters in. because then it refers to something more than just this body mind sense complex so can you all hear me okay so so go ahead uh, him and uh, mohini swapna just uh, unmute yourself if there is no noise from your side <clears throat> so that analysis is therefore called jeeva vichara jeeva vichara and then some other one more technical word is used which i introduce now yashti vyashti vichara you may have heard of the word vyashti mm. so that vyashti means this something that is limited this microcosm we can use the word an english word microcosm not sure if that word communicates everything but that is called vyashti so vyashti vichara jeeva vichara vyashti vichara versus now what we are going to enter is called the analysis of the world analysis of ishwara all these things will come so that is called srishti vichara srishti creation i mean we, we i don't i don't want to use the word creation but this world inquiry into the analysis of the cause and or the cause of this world that is called srishti vichara and the technical word would be samashti vichara vyashti versus samashti <clears throat> so we will see some commonalities between vyashti and samashti one is in small scale mini scale micro scale the other is in macro scale and another from the point of view of this mahavakya tattvam asi if you take then the tvam refers to this vyashti correct this human body jiva 
So therefore also called Tvam Pada Vichara. Tvam Pada Vichara also means the same Jiva Vichara. And therefore the Srishti Vichara is also called Tat Pada Vichara. So they will say, Sankracharya will, while he is commenting, he will say Tat Padam, Tat Pada Vichara, Tat Padam like that he will say. So then we have to say, oh okay, he is referring to Ishwara, he is referring to the world. And he's trying to remind us something about that analysis. So in the last satsang, there was a question about Mahavakyas. <clears throat> so Tattva Masi is from Chandogya Upanishad. And then uh, Aham Brahmasmi from Brihadaranyaka Upanishad, which is in uh, Yajurveda. Aham Brahmasmi, Brihadaranyaka Upanishad from Yajurveda. Then Pragnanam Brahma is from Aitreya Upanishad, which is from Rigveda. Rigveda. So Rigveda, Aitreya Upanishad, Pragnanam Brahma. And then uh, Ayamatma Brahma. Ayamatma Brahma is from uh, Mandukya Upanishad. Mandukya is from uh, Atharvana Veda. Atharvana Veda. Atharvana Veda, Mandukya Upanishad, Ayamatma Brahma. And then uh, we also said Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma. Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma. So that also happens to be from Chandogya Upanishad. Like Tattvamasi is from Chandogya Upanishad. Which is in Samaveda. So like that. So the main ones are generally they say four Mahavakyas. Even Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma. Because there is not an equation there between Jiva and Ishvara. Mahavakya means there must be an equation, right? Jiva is there, the small so called victim Jiva is there, and then this macro is there. So the so called micro is equal to macro. That equation only can be a Mahavakya. Correct? So, just a recap on that. <clears throat> And even when we study Bhagavad Gita, occasionally there will be a, a verse which we will say, okay, this here is a Mahavakya, like that. Okay. So, we, we, we need to, I think, chant a verse here. So, before that, let's chant the Dhyana Shloka. Vasudevendra Yogi Indram Natva Jnana Pradam Gurum Mumukshunam Hitarthaya Tattva Bodho Vidhi Yate Okay. So, uh, so Mohini, if you can unmute yourself. I don't remember this next number. 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, probably 51. 58, I think, right? No, 2 1. Okay. Oh, 2 1, exactly, correct. Good point, 2 1. <clears throat> okay. Atha. Atha. Chatur Vim Shati Chatur Vim Shati Tatwo Patti Prakaram Tatwo Patti Prakaram Vakshya Maha Vakshya Maha Okay. So, hey, Manda, so now can unmute yourselves. So now the author. Is saying, our uh, Swamiji is saying, Bakshya Maha. Bakshya Maha is a verb in this sentence. Definitely, when we look at Sanskrit, 
even after studying some sanskrit sometimes it being seems difficult to understand sentences and that is because <laughs> these words in sanskrit are can be organized in any way the noun can come at the end the verb can come in the front in english the verb never comes in the front never correct never unless there is some colloquial talk you know go you know did you something like that we can say did you go you know, but that's colloquial that's not formal english but here go did you is in sanskrit it is pakka sanskrit so gatavan va tvam tvam also given up gatavan va so like that gachche uh, dikim are you going to go so like that so therefore you know you have to spend some time looking at this verb identifying the verb so here the verb is vakshyama vakshyama means we are about to say we will tell that is the meaning of vakshyama future tense and plural we so this is another tradition in our tradition we have very rarely they say i i am about to say after all this is one person writing it's not a group of people you know this high school project you know college projects you know a group of people come on go you know five people are there go to a project and we you know what project they do and sometimes good things come out of this project so group of people writing tattva bodha so it doesn't work like that <clears throat> so but only one person says vakshama we are about to say about to tell you so that implies that couple of things one is shy of saying i very shy because the i means i am about to say means the ahankara rises up and so it's as though i am doing something so often in teaching also many people many teachers will use the word we because we can be can include the teacher it can even include students it can include people among students who know correct we so very fascinating so that is one reason second reason is this person is telling there is a whole weight of sadashiva samarambham shankaracharya mantimma so so many people have said it so there is nothing new i am going to say i am only repeating in a different way what was already said so vakshyamaha so vakshyamaha there brings about this uh, tradition you know his guru and the guru's guru etc etc all comes here in vakshyamaha and he says what okim vakshyamaha tattvotpatti prakaram vakshyamaha <clears throat> tattvotpatti so here this tattva utpatti the tat refers to this tattvamasi tat and so the utpatti the production the appearance the manifestation physics physicists should like these words manifestation is a good word because creation if they say this physicists will be cringe they oh, don't tell me that word and so tattva tattva utpatti the let's say for now the the appearance the production the creation of this this world and prakaram the methodology of the creation of this world and what kind of methodology chaturvimshati chaturvimshati 24 implying that i am going to tell you a 24 factored model of creation of this world that is the statement he is making so this so called tatpada vichara so perhaps the, we can use the in english this cosmology this the subject of cosmology i think 
assuming it is a proper science proper you know scientific word which doesn't include all the other other mumbo jumbo that may be there so maybe that's the word the scientific word that is used here in in in, in science cosmology study of the creation of this world <coughs> with no limits the entire cosmos and he uses the word 24 and immediately we must remember that that's a that's a model a model can be anything just it's a, it's a means for us to understand something bigger than the model so therefore here it is a 24 element model and like earlier we saw, saw in the jiva vichara we saw the pancha maha mahabhutaihi kritam stula shariram kim panchi krita pancha mahabhutaihi kritam satkarnam janyam what is the next one sukha dukha di bhogayatanam shariram and then asti jayate vardhate viparinamate apakshiyate vinashyati iti shad vikara vad yad asti tad sthula shariram so there we saw pancha mahaputta so a, a, a model which defines this body mind senses over so like that here also the pancha mahaputta can be applied for the world also but here he is saying, well, I'm going to give you a <coughs> 24 element model. <clears throat> so, like in science, we have models. If we study chemistry, nobody, nobody graduates high school <coughs> nobody graduates high school or college without being exposed to periodic table of elements. So that's a model. So when I studied, we used to have some hundred and some elements, eight or seven, six like that. But uh, the last time I googled, I saw number one one eight. One one eight. So that means science has progressed some more, right? So they have identified some new elements. So they have this hundred and eighteen element model. So they are confident. They are saying, hey. You go to moon, you go to anywhere, you you won't find any element other than the 180. And if you do, then we will add that, we will put that as 190. Correct? So, they are okay. There is no threat to chemistry. There is not, nobody is threatened that, uh, oh, what happens if the model fails? The model is not, it's fungible model. You can keep adding into it. So A, B, C, etc. They have all these, uh, all these elements, and I don't know how many letters are used up. A, I don't, th I don't remember A standing for anything, but elements like gold, A, U, silver, A, G, argentum, aluminum, A, L, like that, <clears throat> and B for boron, and C for something else. C for carbon, of course, great carbon. Like that, there is a model. So it just strikes me. So good thing they don't have, I don't know, does A stand for anything? If you know, let me know. <clears throat> but uh, if not, I'm glad A is still vacant. It's a vacant spot. I think, I think, finally, if these chemists and physicists say, you know what, we have forgotten something very big. <laughs> and <laughs> that is called Atma. <laughs> And that big A, that big A, let's call it the big A. So maybe if that time comes, we don't know. And maybe that big A will reflect our Vedanta. <coughs> so, so that's a model. That's all we're saying is a model. And so we don't have to be carried away by a model. It is help, it is used to help us understand the reality. Okay, so in this Mahavakyam, Tattvamasi, Tat refers to, it can refer to Jagat and it can refer to the cause of this Jagat. 
cause being Brahma. So the immediate meaning of Tat can be Jagat or it can be Ishwara or it can be Brahma. So, and then Tom, Tom is you. The immediate meaning of you is me, this individual Jiva with this body mind sense complex. And the implied meaning of Tom should be Atma. So that kind of relationship is being said in this Mahavakyam Tattvamasi, which is what makes us inquire into Tat, which is this world, the Ishvara, and what is it? That question arises, which is which to me is very amazing. That you start with yourself and you end up with the world. Or you end up with all the things in the world and you end up with yourself. You start with the world and end up with yourself. And so who are my question arises. So this, this, uh, what does the equation say? This, Satyam Jnanam Anantam Brahma, this cause of the world, is this Satchidananda Atma. That is how eventually it will be said. And how is that possible? Is the process is what the, is the responsibility of the shastram to unfold? But then Brahman doesn't create anything. We say the Brahman created the world, then Brahman has authorship. We saw briefly that. So, Nirgunam Atma, Nirgunam Brahma, etc. So, something that has no qualities, something that has no attributes, how that can create something? That question will arise. And so, here the author is introducing what we call in Shastram Maya. Maya. So, let's. Uh, Let's chant that. <clears throat> so, Hem, if you can repeat along with everybody. Okay. Just Brahma Shraya. Brahma Shraya. Sattva Rajas Tamo Gunat Mika. Sattva Rajas Tamo Gunat Mika. Maya Asti. Maya Asti. <clears throat> so he is just making a statement that Maya Asti. Maya Asti. There is something called Maya. That's all he is saying. So he is quietly introducing Maya here. <clears throat> so again here. So maybe I should, I was just reminded that I did not translate, give you the translation of the previous, uh, you know, Atha Chatur Vimshati Tattva So let me give that translation if I, before I forget. So the translation of that will be now. So Atha means now. <clears throat> and now means what? After, within brackets you can add, after this discussion, centered on Atma or Jiva. That is what now means. Or now or then also. Atha can mean then also. Interesting. How now and then mean almost the same thing sometimes. We shall explain the mode of we shall explain the mode of origin of the 24 essential factors Origin of the 24 essential factors within brackets of the world of Jagat. <clears throat> we shall explain the mode of origin 
of the 24 essential factors of jagat okay so here we are the, the shastram is the author is taking us to a time before big bang big bang we only heard about we may not know what big bang is <clears throat> so it is what physicists have proposed the whole this whole creation started with a big bang so at that time what was there maya asti brahman of course is there and then maya was that is what he is taken all the way back before creation and maya asti along with brahma <clears throat> and so this creation always thought of as like in our own creation father mother required for creation two factors are required for creation so likewise brahma and maya brought together there is an aspect called maya my father and mother are independent of each other and they come together but here maya cannot be independent of of brahma if it is independent we have talking about the parallel reality and parallel reality we cannot have <clears throat> parallel reality we cannot have so this maya which is dependent on brahma is there is required for creation <clears throat> we'll see a little more later about maya etc <clears throat> so maya which is dependent on brahma is there before creation and creation is about to start this is the way shastra is presented so we we saw atma and we are now beginning to see brahma and we are saying brahma and atma are the same thing so why two names for the same thing question can be there why not use just one word brahma all pervasive self consciousness all pervasive we saw all these things why not just use one word well that is that is not a big question big problem because because if you look at if you look at space the space is there in this room this room has so many cubic foot of space or cubic feet of space and then if the building is not there you know these days what they do is old buildings they simply explode implode whatever and then they start constructing new buildings very common and so then what happens when that building goes away is the space there or not the space is very much there nobody can destroy space and uh, i am reminded of these classes that i attended last week and there this 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 author of of uh, advaita makarandam says hey this panchabhutas are there आकाश वायु अग्नि आप पृथ्वी एंड दी चतुर्भूता भूतानी स्टार्टिंग फ्रम वायु वायु अग्नि आप पृथ्वी दी फोर भूता वर्स आकाश दिस आकाश विच आर ऑल इन द सेम ऑर्डर ऑफ रियालीटी right all of them are same order of reality i appreciate आकाश i appreciate वायु etc this four bhutani cannot affect akasha which is of the same level of reality how can brahma be affected which is not of this order of reality like that one argument acharya brings up so in this room akasha is there and the room is not there akasha is there so we can have a name for the contained space and we have a name for the entire space big space akasha 
So inner space versus space. Even though space cannot really be divided, we can have names like this. And we have, we can give another example. You know, we have, we have a person, a lady, she's mother, and she is, she can be called by different names. She is sister, she is neighbor, and she is teacher. And now she is defense minister. Correct? Defense minister. So we are all proud, proud of her today in India. Nirmala Sita Rama. So, same person but different names. So nothing wrong. We can have different names based on the function it serves based on the context so that is how we we appreciate brahman and atma so from from the from the technical words you used when we talk about vyashti we will talk about atma correct vyashti is jiva and so that brahma which is which is apparently confined in this body as though confined that we will talk of as atma we will refer to as atma and when we talk about samashti the world or ishvara where needed we will talk about brahma correct so vyashti atma samashti context will bring will take us to brahma <clears throat> okay so last class, we briefly also mentioned, when we look at this world, everything seems to be given, seems to be given. So these planets rotating around sun, the sun is given, the planets are given, and the laws governing, governing all this fantastic motion is given. And there is revolution and then there is rotation also. Without rotation, life can't, can't exist in, in, on earth. That's amazing that rotation also is given. And this whole galaxy is given and many galaxies are there. They say everything is given. And you come to earth and I see a vast earth. And all the tree plant life is given. And uh, aquatic water is given and aquatic life is given, animals are given. And whichever way, whichever direction I look, everything is given. No, no, this is this is all this is all downtown. And I see all a concrete jungle, they say, all buildings, 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 and parking lots. Oh, that is not given, that was not there, if we say. Then we say, yeah, that was not given before. But this Shakti is given to me. The ability to recognize, ability to identify this world and come up with things put together. I invent cement. I make bricks out of mud. I make stones out of bigger stones like this. That skill is also given to me. That amazing skill which only the human being has given to me. So we say that potential was there. The potential to create this concrete jungle also was given to me. So the laptop that I'm looking at did not exist, not given before. Our parents did not have the benefit of this laptop. But today, every grandson, granddaughter goes to the grandfather and grandmother and says, Pa, look at this, look at this. And the, the parents are looking at this and just amazed. So much is coming, so much new things are there. So the potential to create all that is given. So, we say this laptop has to have an author. 
you nobody can say the laptop is created just like that like the tree is created so somehow i attribute authorship to all these things and uh, like building a laptop and clock and vehicle cars and rockets and and uh, 737 max and so forth which is in the news now so why don't how come we say we need an author for all these things somebody intelligent has to have created it we can't accept so we can't accept somebody saying these watches were just coming not possible something in us says this has to have this has been deliberately put together to serve a particular purpose therefore must have an author this is this is the logic we give so that is good and that's and that same that same thinking makes us ask the question who created this world this plant is producing chlorophyll and it is absorbing sunlight and there is they talk about photosynthesis and amazing and it keeps producing flowers and fruits and it keeps on producing these fruits year after year constantly it gives all this there is so much knowledge involved the botanists are still busy the botany department is not getting smaller the medicine the hospitals research institutions are not getting smaller they are only getting bigger so they say there are 1000 hospital there are so many 500 hospitals in in 1000 hospitals in coimbatore small and big big ones are there and they say there are 4000 5000 doctors and uh, some 2000 of them are part of this medical association the president was talking telling like that one day and uh, all these hospitals meant to serve just this one human being right the subject of these doctors is just this human being one small little piece in this world and the science is constantly evolving so constantly discovering what is already there correct what is already there is being discovered it's a very important thing we need to understand this yes it is true that the latest advances were not there just last week just last month just last year it was not there and today it is there but all to take care of this one little part the kidney one little part the heart and the potential to create all this was already there hmm. only now we have come to the point we have enough knowledge that we could make this iphone hmm. after so why did they not make it 20 years ago 20 years ago also we didn't have that knowledge to 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 make this iphone 50 years ago there was no cell phone 40 years ago i am i am i am being safe by saying 50 years ago because even though we started using these cell phones only some you know 20 years ago or something because they say many of these things are coming from space technology these these astronauts used to use all these things so all this wifi and all must have been there when they sent rockets and all that right so that's why we need to be a little careful <laughs> so the potential to create was there and the ability to organize things together was given to me that potential that skill is also given and i use those skills and and that is why a good doctor will say will be honest will say you know i am only sharing with you what you know there is so much i don't know and i offer medicines i offer you a treatment but the curing happens because of ishwara paramatma will take care of you don't worry and you come to me you call me any time you want that reassurance he gives so 
that is the beauty that reflects what we understand of this world because everything is given we are only tapping into swamiji uses the word tapping tapping into this mind of ishvara every time i heard a statement once attributed to einstein whether it is true or not i don't know something like uh, oh god tell me your thoughts and the rest are details something like that uh rest are details i can figure out the details don't worry you tell me all your thoughts the major thoughts you tell me that's what he say so so all this is given and we are saying how did it come about if i can't accept the fact that this pair of glasses you know i went and i just picked around these glasses i kept wearing it was all there and some tree was giving all these glasses we can't accept that statement why not if a tree can produce a fruit why it can't produce these glasses and in fact these glasses less technology than the fruit the mango fruit or so many fruits which give so much nutrition to us which sustains our life i can live without these glasses but i can't live without these fruits and vegetables and why a tree can't produce these glasses so that's technology required to make this simple pair of glasses itself we are saying author is needed so our rishi sir asked the question how did this creation come about so really if if these people these physicists are analyzing this they must give credit to vedanta they must give credit to our rishis really speaking they should say acknowledge that you know these people have talked about it and it is all written in our book tasmatva etasmada akasha sambhutah and they have proposed a model like that they should say they should give taitri upanishad as a reference you know in this journal papers they have references right 1 2 3 4 <laughs> so they should give this taitri upanishad as a reference if they are honest they should do that but if they have to do that then they must understand the model and they must understand it also so without understanding you can't refer to something so now somebody says no no why are you worried about all this by understanding how the tree was created is it going to solve any of your problem huh you are worried about so many things your children you are worried about your husband your wife your parents you are worried about and you don't know you are worried as somebody called me and said my son is so and so and i am so worried so this worry is there and you are you are talking about this tree and planets and galaxies what well, galaxies how they came about why are you worried it's all given to you just enjoy just use whatever is available and enjoy prakriti vada so it's all nature it's all naturalism but even the physicist cannot accept that statement where is the question of a vedanta in accepting that statement so for us the understanding has to be complete then only everything resolves then only this so called shanti and nirvana and moksha is possible so bits and pieces analysis is not possible that's the beauty of vedanta okay so therefore we conclude that this any object that is created even by me by the human being is intelligently put together with a with an intention in mind with a purpose in mind we saw all that before and therefore that product is given and that product serves a purpose intelligently put together like this pair of glasses so they call this a pair of glasses so i think that's what i should say so it's only one one spectacle only it is but they say pair of glasses so something intelligently put together and it has a name like spectacles glasses etc 
and all this name function everything comes together converges into an object which is created quote unquote so these classes are created the then then i look at animals and the nest is created and the web is created you know the web that is there in the room not the world wide web the web that is there on top when you look around especially in people in single people's rooms single men's rooms if you look around there will be more web jobs <laughs> because they rarely look up these days they look down on the phone only you know constantly look down on the iphone or the phone smartphone so where is the question of looking up so looking up doesn't arise suddenly one day somebody mom or dad comes and says what what have you done to this room look at this it's such a mess this fellow is living happily and she comes and says it's a mess and so he doesn't understand what mess your mom is talking about so this web is also an intelligently put together creation with a purpose and the spider intelligent being has that knowledge and knows why it is creating the spider the web so not only web is an intelligent creation the hands and legs and the mind behind that web the spider is also an intelligent creation correct and the symbiosis that goes on in this world my god it's absolutely amazing how one depends on the other and uh, you know even in my room i think about it sometimes so when i look at this web and then i say should i really remove it or not because the insects are there and despite all this uh, you know what is this called uh, net clone and all that this filters that cover the window and still you know flies are there mosquitoes are there and then i saw one day the, the 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 an insect was trapped in this web and the spider was going after it and probably stunning the insect and the insect just became like that and then i saw okay so here is a symbiosis so the spider is helping me by doing its job you know if the insect is caught in the web then it is not flying in front of the laptop and so so you see i am getting help from the spider so i will let him be where he is he is not bothering me he is there in his own place he doesn't come in front and just drop on the book no he doesn't do that he also is is intelligent enough so why should i do anything to the spider let him be so i leave him like that then there is another fellow walking around and i have one guy here and he is called the lizard he is called the lizard and where there are insects and spiders there will be a lizard also and so the lizard controls controls the spider population the spider controls the other small insect population and it's so amazing it's absolutely amazing then who controls the lizard population in this apartment if you ask amazing thing i found is i don't have to do anything i let the lizard be he will walk around and all that and as long as you don't come near me i am okay and don't don't drop on this bed and this table that is okay and he he does his job he walks around he does his job and then i think what happens is this fellow keeps the other lizards away he doesn't want any other lizard to come in this house so he this one lizard controls the lizard population in this apartment that is my conclusion i'm drawing a conclusion okay. because there is a fight fight for this uh, geographical hmm. you know to mera hai i am the king of this jungle so all the all animals do that right dogs do that they mark off the area and all that so they mark the area so the new person that comes the new dog that comes no so oh, okay there is somebody here so they have their own way of communicating so look at how much intelligence is there here so now the question comes is there an author for this world 
and now i have a great logic and what is the logic yes there is an author you don't know who the author is and that author is called god oh, really god yeah and uh, where can the god be can we look at him can we look for him yes you can look for him okay see the thinking is like this in, in all these created objects that we have done we have seen in this world the objects created by the human being the object is separate from the creator so the the, the maker of the fan did, is separate from the fan is different from the fan and the this concrete jungle we talk about was created by human beings and the creator is of course different from the building like this the created object and the creator are always different therefore if somebody says where is god where can god be he can't be in this earth because the earth is created object and so yahan to nahi milega don't worry looking for god don't waste your time then where is god see then that is how this finger pointing starts because he has to be he can't be here so he has to be there only and where there means where are swarg hai our shastras only answer all these questions you know swarg is there it is heaven is up there and uh, not just up there is seven up also in seven up is a sapta in a sapta swarga is all coming from vedas all these fellows i tell you they copied so much from the vedas i'm so, I'm so upset by all this and they have simply copy paste and they patent all these things and uh, we should all take them back take it all back so seven up so seven up may then the seventh floor penthouse may beta hai that guy is called ishwar god can i meet him next question right now we don't think about whether this is right or wrong but we believe all this and then we say can i meet him yes you can meet him and when can i meet him not in this janma after death definitely you will go and meet him really yes you will meet him you just follow me that's all follow this book follow me and then we will meet him this is how religion starts all religions are like this only so this god idea up idea and after death idea all these things come from come from this basic simple question an important question also right how did the world come about now this dialogue happens between father and son i'll give father and son example now so they are having a very profound dialogue about this creation so the dad says so dad how did this who created this world and dad is says of course of course god created this world you know he is a he is a religious person so god created this world and uh, so where uh, god created this world who is god oh, god is a very powerful being because to create this world he has to be powerful then the sun nods and says yeah that must be very he must be a powerful person so already he and all gender also assigned to god by the way right we must understand all that then where is this god god is in heaven beta you must understand swarg mein hai he can't be here because how can he be here he has given it all for us and he created all of us he put us here and then he he is in heaven but dad one minute you said he is in heaven yes and who created heaven 
and uh, that says say stupid fellow butu who created heaven will what you are asking did i create heaven did you create heaven no god only created heaven acha god created heaven also yeah god created heaven and he for himself and he gave us all these things okay then the son goes one step ahead he says okay god created heaven you said so before creating this heaven where was god now the father is getting a little jittery because until now he is happy he said everything now this question this question he can't say he was in hell <laughs> before creating heaven he was he was in hell he can't say that because then the next question will be he created hell before creating heaven then he has to make up stories yeah he created hell he stayed there but the hell was too hot and uh, to this is unbearable and you know sometimes our manufacturers make mistakes right and uh, so like that god realized oh this is a big mistake and uh, i can't live in hell so i must create something else and i create a heaven that's why god created heaven and so he was in hell before that but the father realizes he can't give this argument because the son will ask before creating hell where where was god you tell me like that so so this is the beauty our children are so innocent they think free they are not worried about is my question a stupid question you know all these funny ideas they don't have whatever comes in their mind they will ask and then it takes the father and mother i suppose and beat them up and say you can't ask these questions how dare you ask this question do you have homework or not tomorrow homework is due right it's already 9 o'clock you must go do your homework so finished so repeatedly you suppress this fellow's curiosity and then he says okay i bow down to you and i will do whatever you say so the very intelligent mind thinking mind free mind carefree mind oh boy what a mind that is how i wish i have that kind of a mind and uh, is given all these concepts and then is told you should not ask certain questions also see that also is a big problem at least if that freedom to ask is given to me i can make my way and find my way out so this is the situation and like other religions stop right here heaven god is in heaven you will go and meet him because you are a believer and you are giving me 10% of your salary therefore you will go to meet god over this is the end of any other religion you go look at all these books everything this is what you will find beyond that there is nothing and you will you will but they have some words you will beatify beatific presence of god they use all these words and you will be near god in front of god next to god whatever and that is the goal or that is the goal of human life and and that happens after death all that is very well clearly given this is not acceptable to our rishis not possible because the question itself is not answered it's question okay this where was god before heaven or hell or whatever you say the question where itself then vedanta comes and says where when you say hey, you are talking about space you are talking about space you are assuming that space is given once the space is given then you can talk about where correct once space is given you can talk about where is pluto oh pluto is so many million miles from here it is revolving around the sun in in such radius or whatever you can say where is this other galaxy where is milky way and where is how big is milky way all this you can talk about 
assuming space is given. When did God create all this? When did the world come into being? The word when, if you ask, implies time. Time, you are taking time for granted. Bhai, before creation, space and time itself did not exist. Is the statement our rishis make. That is the time. That is, in fact, that is the time also we can't say. So this idea of time that you are talking about, the idea of space you have about this all pervasiveness and this accommodation space, accommodating space you talk about itself did not exist. You can't partially say some, you can't take some things for granted and then talk about the creation of this part of the world. Correct? That is Vedanta. Okay. This is their beauty. This is the beauty of Vedanta. So nothing, you can't take anything for granted. And that time and space which have been taken for granted in classical physics, Newton take, took it for granted and all of these other classical physicists, they use the word classical physics for that. Then others have come in Einstein's theory of relativity, etc. And they have recognized that time itself is is part of this creation, correct? And uh, so, this is where we are. This is how this idea of so called, this is why we can't use the word creation. Because the creation, word creation has been used up by these other, other religions and say this world is a creation. And they have given a time also. One intelligent religion talks about world came about 2000 years ago. 2000 years ago. And you tell him, hey, beta, they go. There is something called carbon dating. And if you do the dating, you find even some trees are more than 2000 years old. Forget about these stones which are millions of years ago. You go, some trees are so many thousand years old. And uh, then there is all this dinosaurs and skeletons they have found which are all millions of years old. And where is 2000? Where is 2 million? What are you talking? And he has an answer for this also. He says, Hey, Budu, we are talking about God here. You think God is not intelligent enough to throw a few dinosaur skeletons here and there? You know, like you sprinkle turmeric and jeera in your sambar. You know, like that he sprinkled some dinosaur bones here and there. You think he is not that intelligent? And you measure it and you say a million years. God has to be more intelligent than you. You are really stupid. You don't understand anything. Like that he talks. Then what will you do? So what I will do is this. I will say Namaskar to him. I will say Namaste. I am happy meeting you. Very nice to meet you. And, and no need to exchange phone numbers and all that. Enough. And uh, may everything be well with you. And uh, nice meeting you. And then walk away from there. <laughs> because, because you can't argue. Any more you argue this mind, our mind we have to protect, no? No, we have to protect our mind. And so we just let go of this, this experience. So Vedanta, we are entering into this fantastic. That's why we can't call Vedanta a subject also. Because again, subject means a discrete a topic which has a definite boundary. And so we can't say subject also. So this is Vedanta. And we are talk, entering this Tatpada Vichara, which we will continue in the next class. <clears throat>
हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम